In this video, we are going to discuss about defining the allowed VLANs on a trunk. So, you know that by default, the range of VLANs are from 1 to 4094. So, these are uh, all are allowed on a trunk link. So, that to only select some VLANs here by disallowing other VLANs using switch port trunk link, you can use a command and you can only allow that VLANs to be created and that VLANs to be accessing the trunk link here. You see, when you enter into the configuration terminal mode, when you enter interface FA0 slash 16 and it will take into the interface mode, here if you enter switch port trunk allowed VLAN, then it will show that the VLANs available, the list of the current VLANs except the following VLANs. So, you, you, you wanted to enter a command called switch port trunk allowed VLAN for 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So, by this you can only allow a particular VLANs to access the trunk link here. So, you see that after, after configuring or after entering that command, you see here show interface trunk. So, you are seeing that trunk which are accessing the trunk link, the VLANs. You see here that the VLANs which are accessing trunk are clearly given as 1, 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. And these are all in the encapsulation mode, you can see ISL dot 1q uh, as well as DTP protocols are used here. So, uh, apart from this, you can also modify the native VLAN. So, how it is done? So, you can modify the native VLAN trunk here by, you see, normally the frames which are sent with dot 1q encapsulation. So, before sending out the trunk link does not have the header with them. So, what they will do? So, we change the native VLAN first of the particular switch of the one interface and the particular switch of the other interface here. So, how to modify the trunk native VLAN here? You see, if you enter the configuration mode and if you enter into the interface mode, you come into the switch port trunk native VLAN 10. If you enter this command, then it will go into the native trunk VLAN modification here and only that VLAN 10 can access the trunk link here. And this is about the allowed VLANs in the accessing trunk link as well as modifying the trunk VLAN port here.